go see a musical. Musicals are so unrealistic. People just burst into song for no reason. Might I fetch your bag? Yes, please get my bag. You're gonna hurt yourself. I can carry five more. Carrying more bags doesn't mean a bigger tip. You don't know that. Papa. What is it, Sarah? What are you thinking? Is this my new home? <laughs> is it, Papa? It most certainly is, sweetheart. We've reached London, England. He, he did, did it. it. Let's see if we can give you a better view. <sighs> you don't like it, do you? Well, I suppose soldiers, even the bravest ones like you, don't really like going into battle either. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. Uh, incoming. Oh, bother. I do believe I am in great pain. You have to admit, traveling on a boat all the way from Africa was a real adventure. I suppose. All I could think about was that you're going to have to leave today. Oh, Sarah. I'm gonna miss you terribly, but I know you'll be brave. Of course. Just remember, you're never alone, no matter what. God is always with you. All the time. Because he loves you, always. You're his princess. Princess? <gasps> She's royalty. Take a picture. Ha, I told you we'd see somebody famous on the train, or my name's not Razzi. Papa Razzi. My little princess, I'm so blessed to be your papa. You're my everything. But little princess, what's truly best is that you're also a child of the king. It is God the Father to whom you belong, and no one can take that away. Good times or bad times, he's right by your side. You're his princess and there he will stay. My little princess, you'll never guess how much love that your one life can bring. My little princess, I confess, for you are loved by me. And love by the king. Oh, bless you. As you hold your head high, the world will see God's heart. Through your life, his love it will sing. And as you live, you'll find that the king's love will shine. Whether good times or trials, in the lows and the highs. If your dreams live or die, you'll be. You're going to need to buy more film. <laughs> film? Ah, here we are, the Minchin School for Lovely Little Ladies. Are you ready, sweetie? Captain Crew? Oh, you must be the headmistress. Me? Oh, goodness, no. Miss Amelia, is that the captain? She is waiting for you inside. Hello? I am Headmistress Minchin. <laughs> Lovely. And this must be our Sarah. It will be a great privilege to have charge of such a beautiful and promising child, Captain Crew. Sarah's a true joy. She's my little princess. <laughs> we rode a boat all the way from Africa. There was a storm one night at dinner, and the waiters kept dropping the dishes. <laughs> dropping dishes. Funny. Ah, a clever child is a great treasure in an establishment such as mine. Uh, where should we put these bags before they crush us? Oh, oh I'm terribly sorry. Thank you for your trouble. Wowzers! <laughs> Thanks, Captain. Amelia! Take our new 
two guests' bags upstairs. Yeah. Oh, please, allow me. No, I wouldn't hear of it. Um, Miss Amelia loves to carry things. Don't do, Amelia. But of course. So down the stairs is much easier. <laughs> Sometimes. I'll do my best to return for Sarah's birthday. But until then, she's to have anything she needs. I'll pay every bill you send me without question. Oh, my goodness, Captain Crewe. Are you certain? The room you have asked for is very costly. Nothing to worry about. I have my money securely invested in diamonds. Diamonds? How exciting! Where did you come from? I am a very spry. <laughs> Be sure to buy Sarah a mountain of dolls. Papa, stop being silly. I only need one doll to talk to while you're gone. You mean like this one? <gasps> A little bear! A teddy bear! They're the latest thing. He's perfect. And he's short and squishy, so I will name him Mortimer like our old neighbor. Mr. Mortimer owned a whole bunch of monkeys, and he taught them to juggle bananas. I seem to be allergic to your little doll. She sneezed on Mortimer. Maybe keep him tucked away, okay? Okay. Time to go. Are you learning me by heart? I know you by heart. You are inside my heart. Think about me every day. I will. Every day. I love you so much. No matter what. I love you too, Papa. You will put on your uniform and report to class. Attention, French class! Good, Good morning, morning attention. attention! Your new companion is here. And I expect you all to be very agreeable to her. This is Sarah Crew, all the way from Africa. Bonjour, Bonjour Sarah! Sarah. Bonjour! We have reserved this seat just for you. But, Miss Minchin, that's my seat. Cression. That was your seat, Lavinia. But, Miss Amelia, you may begin. Here are the words we will be learning today. Au naturel. Faux pas. Lavinia, what a pretty name. C'est la vie. Cozy. I wonder how you say pony in French. La pone, maybe. What? Chocolate. What are you doing? Being incredibly bored. But we've hardly begun. I'm Ermingard, but you can call me Ermine. Pleased to meet you, Ermi. Did you know that French people have a different word for everything? Oh, but it's so exotic. Every French word is a thing of beauty. Every French word is a thing of beauty. True, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Crew. A knowledge of the French language is a mark of the well-educated. Which is why it is of the utmost importance that a girl such as yourself learn it and know it well. Now, chop chop, come up to the front. Unless you have been formally taught French already. I have never really been taught French, but... Mm -mm. Uh, but... Ah, you must not say but when you are instructed to do things. What I mean to say... Do not disagree with your elders, Miss Crewe. It is impolite. Je vous dire que je n'ai pas appris de français à l'école. <gasps> what? Where did she learn all those words? What is she saying? That she did not learn French from books. Papa et moi l'avons souvent parlé. Je connais la langue assez bien. Because she and her father spoke it to each other often. Madame, there is not much I can teach her. Her accent is exquisite. You might have told me. I tried. I I suppose I did not begin right. Did you not hear that? Oh. Silence! Ever. Silence at once! I tried to tell you. <laughs> I can't believe you speak 
French! You really are so clever, aren't you? I don't know. Whoa! It's as big as Westminster Abbey! Look at the frills on this dress! Hey, that's a soft horsey. Are these bed sheets silk? Woohoo! I'm in heaven! <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. You're so nice to me. Why wouldn't I be nice to you? I don't know. Most girls aren't. Especially Lavinia. Every French word is a thing of beauty. Let's not make fun of her. Everyone deserves kindness. Even Lavinia? Even Miss Minchin? <laughs> Even them. <gasps> wow! You don't actually have to read all these, do you? Have to? I love to read. It's like an adventure on every page. It's like school on every page. <gasps> you haven't read any of these? Oh. Ermi, the adventures we're going to have together. How? We'll imagine them. Let's imagine we're princesses in a palace. I'm going to feel like royalty. There's a throne and a crown in front of me. Where? All I see is a footstool. It's so fun and inviting. It's gonna be so exciting. Huh? It all makes quite a difference. Life's much more an adventure. If you try, you will see what I can see. Now you try imagining something. <gasps> I think I see a chimpanzee. Marvelous idea. Look! <laughs> He's over there swinging tree to tree. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can he juggle bananas? Oh, I hope he'll be a friend to me. <laughs> It'll be so fun to swing, swing, swing. <laughs> Imagine every now and then life's much more an adventure when you imagine with me. <laughs> that was awesome! Are you okay, Sarah? Papa and I love to imagine together. Oh, you're not gonna cry, are you? Oh, goodness! You're a perfectly wonderful friend, Ermie. Well, thanks, Sarah. Let's do this again tomorrow. Absolutely! <laughs> well, hello again, Mr. Mortimer. What have you been doing while I was away? Huh? Oh, little girl. Oh, Mortimer, look how tired she is. I hate to wake her. Of course, she would be in such trouble if she were discovered. Hello? Hello, little girl. Huh? Wake up. What? Oh, miss. Oh, miss. Uh, oh, I done a bad thing. Don't be frightened. It doesn't matter the least bit. I didn't mean to sleep, Nanu. Oh, it was warm and I was so tired. This could take a while. <gasps> Oh, miss, oh, miss, I done a bad... I know, I know. I'm so tired all the time. It's really quite all right. You ain't mad? You ain't gonna tell Miss... Minchin? <laughs> Why would I do that? I ain't supposed to be around you or the others, miss. Please call me Sarah. And why can't you be around us? We're the same. We're both just little girls. Oh, no, miss. We ain't the same at all. But we are. What's your name? Becky. Becky. What a beautiful name. I, I, I best go now. You're welcome to come play with me anytime. Thank you, Miss Sarah. Thank you ever so much. You know what, Mortimer? I think Becky and I are going to be marvelous friends. I think I have enough room to write birthday. Oh, honestly, the impertinence of this girl, always smiling, always pretending to be so kind. I think she really is that kind. Miss Minchin! What is it now, Lavinia? <laughs> Sarah's letting the servant girl play with us. Becky! <laughs> Bring on the cake! Duck, duck, go! <laughs> Sarah! Yes, Miss Minchin? <laughs> My 
dear, it is time for Becky to scoot along and finish her chores. Yes, um... Oh, but I haven't even opened Becky's present yet. Becky's present? Come on, Sarah! Open the one with the big blue ribbon! It's for me and I want to play with it! I'll open yours in a second, silly. But Becky's present has me very excited indeed. Okie doke! While I wait, I'll open it myself. It's just a thing I made. It looks like a perfectly delightful little monkey. Do you like it, miss? Oh, Becky, it's wonderful. A monkey rock. Fantastic. But now, Becky, you must leave. If you please, Miss Minchin, I would like for Becky to stay. What would Captain Crew say when he arrives to find you playing with a servant? It is simply not appropriate. <laughs> Papa will say that Becky is a little girl, too. Sarah, Becky is a... a servant. She is not like other girls. We will discuss this in a moment. You stay here. already. Oh, Captain Crew, we are so thrilled you could... <gasps> I suppose Miss Amelia explained matters to you? Yes, ma'am. Your father has died. And what is worse, he lost all his money in the diamond mine. You must know what that means. You're not a princess anymore. All of these clothes and books, they will be sold to pay for your party. You may remain in this school, but not as a student. You will be a servant. No more pretending. The time for that has passed. You are like Becky now. I am like Becky. And this? is no longer your room. You are to sleep in the attic. We must be brave now, Mortimer. Like Papa wanted, all little princesses are brave. So hungry. When I was a student, you never told me that servants get so little to eat. Becky, wake up. I was talking to you. Oh, I'm so sorry, miss. I've done a bad thing. <laughs> and I suppose I don't look very much like a princess anymore. But you are, miss. No matter what, remember? That's exactly right, Becky. Even if we look like servants on the outside, we can be princesses on the inside. It's hard to stand strong by yourself When it feels like everyone else Wants nothing to do with you It's hard to love the Rejected you most until you realize who you are in God's eyes. Keep going and growing, keeping on, keeping on. And before you know it, I'm standing tall, feeling strong, slowly becoming, keeping on, keeping on. Someone who's loving all, no matter what. Yes, I keep proving and trying. Keeping on, keeping on Till there's no denying Standing tall, feeling strong I am becoming Keeping on, keeping on Someone who's loving all No matter what No matter what No matter what I am loved I am loved So I will love So I will love No matter what No matter what Father, please help me To love no matter And now it's time for Silly Songs with Best Friends Forever. The part of the show where Best Friends Forever come out and sing a silly song. You're my BF. 
You're my BFF. You're my BFNFL. My BFFLNMW. G, I think you're swell. T for B, U. T, X, U, too. One thing I know, I am H O G O I A N A L. So I'll always be your left sign three, cause G, I I think, think you're swell. swell. I think so too, you see, F U, you'll never be O T L. With you, I am in V G C, cause G, I think you're swell. There's no one like you. You're so easy to talk to, it's the green. All we need is concise communication with a lot of condensation. Intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done. Who's there? Who do you think? Ernie! Oh, Sarah! They haven't let any of us come up here, but I tiptoed! I'm sneaky! How on earth are you surviving? Without your nice clothes and your broom and my books? Uh, you can have mine. It's not so terrible. I have Becky. Evening, Miss Ermengarde. Please, don't call me Ermengarde. I'm depressed enough as it is. Yes, Miss Ermengarde. It's like a dungeon up here. I would be miserable. Papa wouldn't want me to be miserable. He said I would always be God's little princess. Miss Sarah says God loves us no matter what, like Joseph. Who's Joseph? Here. Joseph went from having everything to having nothing. He was even dressed up all fancy, like a prince. But then... Oh, not so much. But did he give up? No. No! no. Because Joseph knew who he really was. A child of the king, loved by God. And because he knew that, he was able to love others, even in prison. A prison like this? This attic isn't all bad. There's still plenty to be thankful for. Like what? Yeah, like what? Well, like... The sunset! <gasps> Whoa! This is the best view in the whole school! Ain't it, though? You see, even if we look like servants on the outside, we can be princesses on the inside. Tis very true, Miss Sarah. Well, I gotta go. Minchin would pop her cork if she finds out I'm gone. You know how to find your way back? I'm not sure. It's like a maze of staircases getting up here. Well, I'll show you, Miss Ermengard. You gotta start calling me Ermie. Yes, Miss Ermengard. Hmm. Bonjour. Ah! Our bonjour was not intended to frighten you. Oui, oui. It was only intended to bonjour you. Bonjour. bonjour. Ah! Er are you our new neighbors? If we are not, then we are in big trouble for sitting on this roof. <laughs> <laughs> I am Jean. And I am Pierre. We work for your new neighbor, Mr. Carrisford. We are his butlers. We are great at the butling. <laughs> Aren't you afraid you may fall off the roof? Oh, no, no. Before we worked for Mr. Carrisford, we were chimney sweeps. We, we, we were. We lived on the rooftops. <laughs> Oh, this is lovely. Oh, how I miss sweeping the chimney. Oh, me too. Soleil! <laughs> Soleil is the master's puppy. 
Go on back, girl. Back to the battling. It was a pleasure to meet you, neighbor. Au revoir. Au revoir. Beautiful neighbor, indeed. Oh, friend, I have failed you. I may have recovered your fortune, but I cannot find your sweet daughter. I've checked with every school in the city, but it's no use. Oh, Sarah Crew, where are you? Good evening, sir. Hurry inside. That note will spoil while you daydream. <sighs> oh, to have just a little money. Whoa! <gasps> Four penny? Oh, thank you. Thank you ever so much. If you please, did you happen to lose a four-penny piece in the road outside? If you found a coin, I I'm pretty sure you need it much more than I do. In that case, may I buy four hot buns, please? I... I'm sorry. I said four. I don't have enough money for six. I know. Keep them. Thank you, God, for your many blessings. I am so, so, oh. This is nice and hot. Eat it, and you won't be as hungry. You won't be as cold. Oh, my! Thank you. <gasps> oh, Miss Sarah, did you bring any food? Miss Minchin took my dinner away for being a few minutes late. <gasps> Last night, we pretended to eat cakes and cookies. Chocolate. But tonight, we're pretending fancy. I don't know nothing about fancy, Miss Sarah. Oh, look! It's roast goose, <gasps> filet mignon, escargot. Is that chocolate? It's cooked snails. Sounds nasty. Trust me, it's delicious. No thanks, miss. I'm sorry, I can't pretend no more. I'm too hungry. No! Oh! Hello? Ernie! Is it safe to come out? Come, come out, come out! Come out! I'm dying to have a tea party with the food my mom sent. Food? Fruit. Chocolate. Golly, you guys act like you haven't eaten all day. Oh. Ermy, like you, Miss Emmingaz. All I did was open the box. Chocolate fest. Wait, we should give thanks first. Thanks for what? <gasps> oh no! Lavinia was right. Emmingaz has been bringing you food. You know it is against school policy to fraternize with these servant girls. They're not servants. They're my friends. Please, we're so hungry, and we were just enjoying something special. Special. My patience has run out with you, Miss Crew. What is it going to require for me to teach you that you are not an exception? You are not... not, not <laughs> Give me that bear. <gasps> oh, no! Mortimer! To your room at once, Miss Ermengard. And I shall write to your papa. What would he say if he knew where you are tonight? What, what are you thinking of? Why, why do you look at me like that? I was wondering what my papa would say if he knew where I am tonight. How dare you! We'll see how much wandering there is when everything is taken away from you. Even Becky. What? Oh, please! I will leave you to wonder. Now perhaps you'll have some time alone to consider what your behavior has cost you. <laughs> Pierre, I have a marvelous idea. Come with me. I know you will work everything out, God. But when, when, 
I know I am still your princess, but sometimes I am afraid I am only pretending. I don't feel like things can get any worse. Oh, Papa. Right now when I need you is the moment I miss you most. Oh, Papa. I wish I could see you. Hold your hand and hear your voice. I know I am not fatherless. For you were right, my God has never left. But Papa, in this moment, I don't know what to do. I trust you, God. The poor girl in the attic has nothing. Yes, what a very good idea you have, then. You may use whatever you wish. Do you think it is possible that, that poor Sarah Crewe, wherever she is, could possibly be reduced to any such condition as the poor little soul next door? I hope not, Monsieur Carrisford. That is a signal! Let's get to it. So grand, perhaps it is a dream. Oh, Miss Sarah, the night was so bad, it was. Oh, Becky, what a delight! You are in my dream as well. I'm not in no dream, Miss Sarah. Are you sure? Oh, you must pinch me. Pinch you? Oh, yes, you must. I must be certain. Ow! It's. it's real. It must be. I am not. I am not dreaming. Who would have done such a thing? God did it. He's taking care of us. <laughs> <laughs> we keep going and growing. Keeping on, keeping on. And before you know it, I'm standing tall, feeling strong. Slowly becoming. Keeping on, keeping on. Someone who's loving all. No matter what. <laughs> yes, I keep proving and trying. Keeping on, keeping on Till there's no denying Standing tall, feeling strong I am becoming Keeping on, keeping on Someone who's loving all No matter what <gasps> Jacques, they are returning! Scram! Sorry, sorry. It wonderful? Ah! Soleil? <laughs> now how'd you think she got in here? She must have smelled this food and wandered over. We'd better return her before her master starts to worry. I have tried my hardest to unspoil that girl and she keeps acting like a princess. I have held my tongue for far too long, Miss Minchin. Silence! She is not spoiled. She has lost everything. Oh, no. We're trapped. And yet she still loves everyone around her. That is quite enough. Why can't you see that? You are fired, Miss Amelia. You will never work with me again. That would be my pleasure. No! What 
on Earth! Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. I must have slipped. Oh, and how do you expect to pay for that? I think tonight we should bake the girls a secret cake. <gasps> With a secret surprise inside, like a pair of very nice shoes. Inside the cake? I am only brainstorming. Carries for the residence. <gasps> the little girl from next door, and Soleil. What an adorable surprise. Mr. Carrisford, the girl from the attic next door. She has returned Soleil. <laughs> Soleil! Oh, such a thoughtful thing to do. But I shouldn't be surprised. I'm told that you are quite a delightful girl. I have to admit, I was very excited to finally meet you. It brings me much joy to see all of you out my window. It helps me... Not be so sad? I've been sad for quite a long time, and I'm no closer to finding what I'm searching for. Maybe I can help you. <laughs> it would take a miracle. Oh, I believe in miracles, Mr. Carrisford. <sighs> my friend, uh, my very good friend, died. And when he did, he left his daughter poor and alone. <gasps> All alone? Poor thing. I have recovered his fortune, but I cannot find the girl. Then I will most certainly pray for that girl. She is very much like me. I must go now. Miss Minchin will be looking for me. Mr. Carrisford, what is the little girl's name? So that I may pray for her. Her name is Sarah. <gasps> Sarah is my name. Sarah? What is your father's name? His name was Crew. <gasps> Captain Douglas Crew. It's you! Me? It's a miracle! A miracle! It's you, it's Sarah! Ah, Pia! It was her! I finally found you! <laughs> oh, Sarah! I'm going to take care of you from now on. You'll not be alone any longer. <laughs> oh, why did we not ask her name Zuner? <laughs> it seems so obvious after the fact. I ever so humbly apologize, but some of my girls said that they saw one of my servants step inside your home. She most certainly did. I am terribly sorry for the inconvenience, and I assure you she will find herself in great trouble. Great trouble? Mr. Carrisford! And what exactly would you mean by great trouble? Mr. Carrisford, you need not be bothered with such matters. I will take the child now. You will not. I am the girl's benefactor. Not anymore. What? The girl is no longer in your care, Miss Minchin. <laughs> but... No buts. As I promised her father, I will take care of her now. You have not undertaken an easy charge, Mr. Carrisford. I suppose that you feel you are a princess again? I always was. Even if someone looks like a servant on the outside, they can still be a princess on the inside. Well, I... It turns out that Mr. Carrisford next door got all of his money from the diamond mine that he owned with Sarah's father! No way! Where so now Sarah is rich again, and she's moving out. <gasps> Sarah has diamonds now? You know, I always did think she was, like, super nice. I don't know why you guys didn't give her more of a chance. Becky? Miss Sarah! I knew you'd come back. I'm happy for you. I am, but I'm going to miss you something awful. I'll just be right next door. Plus, we'll see each other every day in class. You know, Miss Minchin don't allow servants in class, Miss Sarah. <laughs> well then, we'll have to make you a student, won't we? <gasps> you live here now? I have a few 
family now. When I saw your kindness, I realized how much I have to give. Thank you. Little crew.